A cyclone is a general term for a weather system in which winds rotate inwardly to an area of low atmospheric pressure. Cyclone Nivar is a case of tropical cyclone. Tropical cyclones are formed in the low pressure tropical regions. Tropical regions are the regions near the equator. These regions receive maximum sunlight due to the direct and vertical solar radiations. Generally, low pressure regions are formed where there is warm air and high pressure regions are formed where there is cold air like in polar regions. Apart from this, some high pressure regions are formed in the extra tropical regions due to the Coriolis force. Coriolis force acts on rotating bodies. In case of earth, the winds approaching the equator from the poles experience a force perpendicular to their motion, deflecting their movement. The deflection of the wind depends upon the direction of motion. Generally, winds flow from high pressure region to low pressure region. The air in the low pressure region vaporizes continuously, leaving a void, which is filled by the cold air from high pressure region. This low latitude cold air also gets vaporized, resulting in the formation of clouds. This leads to the formation of an eye-like structure at the center of the cyclone. The movement of the cyclone is a result of the Coriolis effect. Further, the condensation of the warm air from the eye shifts the already formed clouds to the outer rain bands, increasing the diameter of the cyclone. The average diameter of a tropical cyclone is around 150 to 250 km with an average altitude of about 12 to 18 km. The intensity of the cyclone increases in the ocean due to the continuous supply of moisture and gradually decreases as it approaches the land because of cut-off moisture supply. The place where the cyclone crosses the coast is called the landfall of the cyclone. There are different types of cyclones based on speed. Cyclone Nivar is a tropical cyclone which is under the deep depression category and will intensify to a severe cyclonic storm while approaching the land. It is expected to be at its maximum speed of about 110 km per hour on 25th of November. Weather experts say it will move northeastwards to cross the coast between Karekal and Mamalapuram. Chennai and Puducherry are also under red alert. The Indian Coast Guard has deployed four offshore patrol vessels at sea for assistance to fishermen or merchant ships at sea. Two helicopters stand by for immediate launch post landfall for rescue and relief efforts. Three Dornier aircraft stand by at Vishakapatnam for launch, post landfall for surveillance, damage assessment and relief. Fifteen disaster relief teams are ready for assisting state or district administration. The Tamil Nadu and Puducherry naval area has carried out preparatory activities to combat the effects of Cyclone Niva. As part of the preparedness, five flood relief teams and one diving team is ready for deployment at Chennai. One flood relief team each is also standby at Naval Detachment Nagapattinam, Rameshwaram and Air Station INS Parandu. One ship INS Jyoti has been deployed from Vishakapatnam with HADR bricks and diving teams to render assistance as required along the Tamil Nadu and Pondicherry coast.